It's a hamper uh, project 2021. We've been doing this for a number of years. Over the last week or so, this building has been filled with crates and containers of bread, tuna, milk, juices, rice, sugar, sweets, sweets and more sweets. <laughs> Um, we've been packing out the place with a load of stuff to give away to, to family, friends and a number of organisations within the community. But a few days before all the packing takes place, the team needs to source all of the items that go into the hampers. We met up with Sister Ioni, who tells us about the schedule for the next few days. Tomorrow we start um, packing some bags that we can deliver on Friday to some of the organisations. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, we will just continue during the day and pack the bags and distribute them accordingly. Some people will come and pick up and some we will have to deliver. Right, we're here at Booker's. We are going to pick up 60 bags of potatoes. And then we're going to go to Costco to pick up some sugar and then back to Tutu. I think when you look overall and you see what your contribution has enabled, um, the people that's been blessed as a result of it, I think it is a worthy cause. And even if you weren't able to do it this time, this year, you know, it's an annual event. So maybe just like we tend to forward plan, maybe it's something we can put in our plan and say, if I am going to take a day off in December, let me consider taking it round about the time where we're doing the hamp and see what help I can be in some way. After we load the van, we came back by Glen Burnie and then we unpacked the van. As you can see, we pack all this stuff into, into the hall here. We live in and only trying to help ourselves doesn't make sense. We have to help other people and by doing that, we spread the gospel more and help other people to come and commit themselves to the Lord. And I hope and pray other people, other men in the church, other people may come and assist us. I came out, originally I came out about four years ago um, because I was in, interested in the evangelist side of it. And then after Wednesday, we do the food prep here. We go to Victoria and do the homeless feeding. And every Wednesday we go out, rain or shine, we're out there. So we've come down from the Pentecostal Credit Union. Um, I'm here and so is Amaris from our Youth Shadow Board. We come every year to help with the um, hamper packing. Actually, we partner with NTA on the hamper programme. We've been doing that for the past five years or so, contributing funds to purchase the hampers. And yeah, we're here to do our annual ha hamper packing. No, it's been good. It's been lots of traffic, but uh, it's been good. It's nice. We've been going, got some pictures with the um, different drops. Um, everyone seems pretty happy. Um, it's a good thing because, you know, at Christmas, it's nice that everyone can get at least some food. And not only that, some, some good food as well. We're looking, I think, probably around 700 of, of these hamper bags will be distributed and hopefully just make just another way in which, one, we express the love of Jesus to our families outside of our church walls and, two, we learn to serve Jesus, as in it's about nothing to do with getting something back, but it's about giving and acknowledging that that is good enough, that uh, it is blessed, more blessed to give than receive, as Jesus said. We, we would like people to come along and help to pack. We would like people to make financial donations, donations of, of, um, of goods as well, so non-perishable items such as rice, tins of um, baked beans, long life milk. So whatever, um, if you can come and give an hour's help, we'd be really grateful um, for that. If you can pray for us, we'd be really grateful. So we're saying you can get involved in many, many ways. You don't have to be in the building. You can do it from a distance by praying. You can put stickers on bags for us, such as this bag, which is what the food goes in. So there's a lot that can be done throughout um, the period of, of the Christmas ham hamper process. So it's not too late to get involved this year. Our hamper program is happening this week. 
from Wednesday the 7th of December until Sunday the 11th of December. Are you able to volunteer some of your time with us or make a financial donation via our website? Let's serve God right during this Christmas season. Thank you for listening.